<coughs> I'm sick. <coughs> hey guys, my name is Courtney Budson. If you are new here, and this is What's For Din. You haven't noticed? I'm a little under the weather. It is that time of year when everyone's got the sniffles, the coffee McDoffies, and the gurgle McShurgles in their belly. <laughs> And when that happens to me, the first thing I do is I make a giant pot of soup. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a delicious creamy potato, broccoli and cheddar soup that is to die for. It is so creamy, it is so delicious, and it's not overly heavy, but it still packs a really good, you know, punch of flavor. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first things first, we are going to chop up our broccoli. So basically all I do is just glide a knife over the stems of the broccoli, and I make sure that I don't cut off too much of the stem because I like to use a little bit of the stem. If there is a really thick stem, how many times am I gonna say stem? <laughs> if there's a thick piece of stem, I like to just chop that up and add that to the pot as well. So what we're gonna do is blanch this. So I have a pot of boiling hot water, and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in our broccoli. Now blanching provides an amazing color as well as cooking it really, really quickly. So I'm only gonna cook this for about three minutes. I don't wanna overcook it. I do not like mushy broccoli soup. I just don't find that to be appealing at all. So after the three minutes, I go ahead and take a slotted spoon and then I put the broccoli into a bowl full of ice water. That way it stops the cooking process. And before you drain the liquid out of your pot, you wanna make sure you reserve a little bit of that broccoli juice if that's what you want to call it <laughs> because it has flavor in that it's like a stock a broccoli stock so I went ahead and drained my pot and dried it out and to that I'm going to add a slab of butter over medium-high heat and to that we're going to add some chopped up onion and season that with salt and pepper give that a good stir and we want to cook this for about three to four minutes until they start to soften next we're going to add some chopped up garlic of course and some seasonings. I'm using Italian seasoning and cayenne pepper, my two favorite things in the entire universe. <laughs> it's really nice to add seasonings at this point because it really helps to bring out the flavor when you add it when you're sauteing. Now I only cook that for a minute and then I'm going to add our thickening agent. Now I'm using flour, so we're making a roux here. Add your flour and then continue stirring so that you can incorporate all the flour in with the liquid. And you wanna keep stirring so that it doesn't burn to the bottom. Cook it for about two minutes to cook out the raw flour taste, and then we can start adding our liquids. So I'm adding my chicken stock, and then I have my whisk ready, and just gonna go ahead and whisk that in, making sure to get all the clumps out. And then I can slowly start adding in my milk. Now you can use cream, you can use half and half, whatever floats your boat. And also don't forget to add your broccoli water. Then we're gonna season once again with salt and pepper. Make sure everything's nice and incorporated and then you can add your chopped up potatoes. Now I just went ahead and cubed my potatoes. These are not cooked. We're going to cook these in the soup as it brings up to a boil. That way you're not overcooking your potatoes because all of your liquids in here are cold and so everything's gonna come up to temperature at the same time. So you're not gonna have waterlogged potatoes. Now you wanna cook your potatoes for about five to six minutes. You want them to be almost fork tender. You wanna be able to pierce it, but you don't want them to be all the way done. If you do cook them too much, then it'll just make the soup thicker. It's not really a big deal. So once it's to that point, I'm going to add a little bit of cream cheese. Yes, I know it's a little bit decadent, but man, is it so good. Trust me on this. <laughs> and of course, I'm gonna add some cheddar cheese. Now I know it's the orange cheddar cheese. They didn't have white cheddar at the grocery store for some reason. I don't know what their deal is, but it's gonna be orange cheddar today. <laughs> Give that all a good stir and that will slowly start to melt together. Now you can go ahead and add your broccoli. Now this step is really dependent on what you like. I personally like broccoli soup that has a little bit of a crunchiness left to the broccoli. I don't like the broccoli to be mushy. So you can cook it as long as you want. It's totally up to you, but I like to cook it for maybe another five to eight minutes and I taste test it and if it's where I want it, then you're ready to serve. And that is it. You have a delicious creamy cheddar potato and broccoli soup that is perfect for the flu season. <coughs> yeah. Now I'm not gonna lie, my throat is so sore. It feels like there's a thousand people doing rug burn all over my throat. And I just wanna take the whole pot and just dump it down my throat. So without further ado, we're going in for the taste test. Wow. Holy cannoli pants. I don't know what that means, but it tastes real good. <laughs> Has a ton of flavor. It's not too heavy. It feels so good on my throat. Like, 
I can't even explain how good it feels on my throat. So with that being said, I'm going to shut up now so I can finish my soup and maybe my nose will drain and I won't sound like a ha a goose anymore. <laughs> I hate when I'm plugged up. I don't know why I sound like a full on goose. Like just wah wah. It's really, really not a good look for me. So if you do want to recreate this recipe, just look below in the description box. I'll leave all the measurements as well as the written instructions. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. And also, if you're not subscribed already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification. That way you get notified every single time I upload a video. You know the deal, I say this every single time, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Just do it. <laughs> do it! So as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Peace.